Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Wednesday afternoon, so I just got done washing dishes and just clean, straightening stuff up on the counter here. Uh, we had breakfast this morning. We had pancakes and bacon. Uh, I've done that over and over again, so <laughs> I need to see the point in recording it. Uh, but I am making lunch now. It is almost 1.30 in the afternoon, or about that time. Uh, we're going to have egg salad sandwiches. Uh, I, we only have four eggs. I thought we had more, but that'll be enough for just today because usually I make eight eggs and it, there's leftovers. And so that'll be enough for just today. So, so I got the eggs boiling and tonight I'm going to make spaghetti because I don't feel like going to the store. On the meal plan, on the meal plan for today was uh, coated fried pork chops with fried potatoes. But I used all our potatoes for the beef stew, and I don't feel like going to the store today. I'm trying to hold off on going to the store till at least Friday or Saturday. So I'm going to switch it with tomorrow's, which was spaghetti. So I'll make spaghetti tonight. I may end up having to go to the store tomorrow anyway, because um, if I switch it, um, I'll, if I switched it, I'll need potatoes for tomorrow. So <laughs> I'll probably just go to the store tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'll be making spaghetti tonight. And... Just making the egg salad sandwich right now. So. All right, so you can see I got the four eggs boiling. Uh, they're pretty much out of boil right now. So what I do is I'll turn off the burner and I'll put a lid on it and let them sit there for about 25 minutes. And then I'll uh, put them in some very cold water or some ice water. All right, so it's been uh, 25 minutes since the eggs uh, sat with a cover on them. So now I got them just in very cold water. Uh, normally you put ice in there for ice water, but I don't want to use up the ice we have made because we have that for our drinks and I don't have enough made up yet. So um, normally uh, ice cold water just is fine. So I'm going to let them sit there for about 10 minutes and then I'll start peeling them. Okay, so I've done a video on this before, um, but I just get a jar. This is like an old jalapeno jar and just throw a little bit of water in it. Throw one of the eggs in it. You shake it up. And you can see the peeling. Oh. I should have put these dishes away. This is the dish strainer with the dishes I did. But you can see the peelings just coming right off. And it's done. So that's how I do the hard boiled eggs. So I'm going to get the other three done and we'll make this egg salad. Okay, so I got my egg, uh, well, the four eggs. I got them all crushed up. Um, I just went through with a fork and just crushed them all up like that. I used to use a masher, but... I used to tend to mash them up too much and then you just had egg mush. <laughs> so now I just take a fork and I just mash them down. The only thing we put in there is Miracle Whip. Again, uh, we prefer Miracle Whip over mayonnaise. Some of you like mayonnaise, some of you like Miracle Whip. We like Miracle Whip. So I uh, gave Glenn a little taste test and he thought it, well, I usually put pepper on. I did put salt and pepper in here, but I usually just put more pepper on his sandwich because I don't like as much pepper. Um, but he thought it had too much Miracle Whip. I didn't think so. I didn't, I don't think it has too much, but that's just the difference in taste between people. Oop, <laughs> just dropped a glove on the counter. So... No biggie. 
And this is going to be lunch. Second line. So I hope everybody is having a good week so far. Every day means an every day closer to spring. And my little common red pole keeps coming back to the feeder every day. Yesterday I actually had three of them. So that was nice. Nice to see them there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping up these uh, sandwiches. And I will be back in a bit. All right, everyone. So it is supper time. So... Uh, right now I've got some spaghetti noodles uh, in the water on the stove and I'm warming up some spaghetti sauce. We're using a Prego garlic and Italian sausage, which I'm not crazy about like garlic pieces or Italian sausage either. But I wanted to try something different. So Glenn is going to have the spaghetti with the spaghetti sauce. I am actually going to try... Some butter noodles from spaghetti noodles um, I've seen several videos where people do that so I'm gonna give it a try for me and if it doesn't work out well <laughs> I guess I'll eat I guess I'll eat a pot pie <laughs> so what I'm doing now though is gonna butter some uh, bread and throw some uh, garlic powder on it and make some garlic bread we usually just make it out of uh, loaf bread or bread slices whatever I've already got the oven preheated so so today uh, was a wasn't too eventful today just uh, we ate our meals and I swept them up the kitchen floor did a little laundry um, but I haven't gotten to the open pantry of reorganizing it now that the open pantry has been there for a little while now, I kind of got an idea of, okay, what can I change or what can I take out of there that doesn't need to be in there. I've got a lot of kitchen reorganization to do, but I want it all done before spring. So once spring is here and we're outside, that I don't have to worry about it. So, oh yeah. So that's what's going on. So we have started watching uh, another series. This one is on uh, Amazon Prime, and it's called The Affair. Originally, when it came out, it was on Showtime, but now it's on Amazon Prime. So, um, so yeah, we started watching it last night. So far, it has our interest. I think we're in the fifth episode now. Uh, we will not binge watch it all night long. <laughs> So, <laughs> but, so yeah, we're watching The Affair. Um, we're, we've watched up to the seventh episode of 1883. So, so yeah. I, I do have uh, movie recommendations for you guys. Um, but what I think I'll do is later on tonight after supper and we've watched some of our episodes is I think I'll just have a chit chat with you guys tonight. Maybe I'll just sit on the recliner and chit chat with you guys and give you some movie recommendations. <laughs> just making sure this is garlic powder. So yeah, we'll throw those in the oven. Ooh. I don't really care for the smell of garlic, garlic powder or garlic all together either. This tastes good with the garlic powder, but I just don't like that smell. All right, so I will get back once we're ready to uh, get the spaghetti going. All right, guys, so before I dump this spaghetti out, I'm going to collect some of the water from the spaghetti for my butter noodles. I don't know. I guess that's enough. First time making them from spaghetti, so see how they work out. All right. <laughs> 
I'm going to go ahead and drain these. Ooh. All right, I've got a frying pan on the stove with butter in it for my noodles, so I'm going to collect some noodles and put them in there. Okay, so here's my butter noodles, and then I'm going to pour some of this spaghetti water in there. I'm going to put it back on the stove. Alright, these are Glenn's spaghettis, and I'm going to throw the sauce in there. Alright, here's the butter noodles. I'm going to throw some uh, salt and pepper in there. I know a lot of people do like gar garlic butter noodles. I'm just going to try the butter noodles for now. Sorry about the camera moving all over the place. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let these go. I got the garlic bread in the oven I need to take out. And I'm going to serve Glenn's plate right now. Alright. This is Italian sausage and garlic prego spaghetti sauce. I did have Glenn taste it just in case he didn't like it because it's the first time we had it. So I had him taste it before I poured it all over his spaghetti. Alright, so here's our garlic bread. I'm going to give a couple to Glenn now. I'm still serving my plate. Alright guys, here's the butter noodles. So hopefully they taste good. Hey everyone, so um, just to bring you a little chit chat and uh, tell you about how the butter noodles came out. So I actually did like the butter noodles. I thought they came out really good. Um, probably a little too bland for Glenn. So, <laughs> um, but my palate is very bland. So for those of you that are newer, are newer to the channel, um, my taste buds are very plain bland <laughs> where Glenn's is more spicy and he'll try any anything but um anyway the butter noodles were pretty good um I ate all of it um I fried them up in the the butter and a little bit of the water that the spaghettis were boiling in and then I just added some salt and pepper and some parmesan cheese and I thought it was pretty good so that's a dish I'll add to my menu Whenever I make Glenn a, a meal that I don't care for, that's something else I'll, I'll definitely make for myself again. So, very happy with the way the butter noodles came out. To the flip side of that, Glenn did not care for the spaghetti sauce. It was Italian sausage and garlic, and he did not care for that at all. He ate it, but he would not get it. He said he would not get that again, so... And that, that actually came from the pantry. I probably would not have bought that. Um, but that came from the pantry. But at least he tried it and he ate it. Um, but we usually get Prego meat sauce. So so yeah, that's how dinner went. And uh, the garlic bread went well with the butter noodles. So yeah, I was definitely happy with the butter noodles. So um, other than that. We ate supper, we watched a couple of videos, but we um, we continue to watch, uh, like I said, we started watching the series, the 
The Affair. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, I think it was a original Showtime series, but so it came out a few years back, and there's five seasons, and we're still in the first season. Uh, Glenn had a hard time staying awake through the last episode and a half. So yeah, we'll pick it up each day, but we will not binge watch overnight. So, um, so, so far it's interesting, but can be confusing because in every episode, um, it, it's coming from a viewpoint of two different people. So you have to watch it to understand what I'm saying. But if you have watched the affair, uh, then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I do have some movie recommendations for you. Um, I was just going to name them off and tell you what what uh, free streaming channel they're coming from. But I think I'll just show you on my Roku. And if you don't have Roku, if you have another streaming stick, like uh, I think Amazon Fire Stick or something, you probably can get that also. But if you have a computer... Well, not necessarily computer because I try to find it on the website and it's very difficult to understand. So, but if you have a tablet or uh, Android or iPhone, um, you can download. It. The channel is called IMDB and I'll, I'll just put it on the screen, but I'll show you on the Roku. So I have six, I think six movies to show you that I would recommend. Um... If you like, like, uh, drama, romance, a couple of them are more like a thriller, suspense type movie, so a little bit of different variety. I have watched all of these movies, and they're, I would recommend these movies. Though There is one I definitely recommend. Um, it's more about teenage romance, um, but with the little thing that they're both sick, so definitely a movie to watch so other than that um i got noticed that my peel box is going to, they're raising the cost you know everything's going up in costs and that's going to include peel boxes so they're raising it almost ten dollars and evaluating just evaluating last year don't get nearly as much mail through the rest of the year all the way up until October so I thought about uh, closing the P.O. box until that time of the year again because I'm paying pretty much paying for <laughs> to collect the uh, um, flyers and things like that so they're raising the price almost ten dollars I think it's going to almost almost fifty dollars for three months and that's the smallest box even it's even though that it's the smallest box I, I obviously can receive bigger packages they just leave me a card to say I have a bigger package at the counter so but anyway um, yeah let me know what your thoughts are I just, I guess I have a hard time paying that almost $50 um, when there's not as much mail through the rest of the year. But if you would want to write me a letter or a card or something, um, you can just email me and let me know. And then we'll work it out that way. So, and my me email is always in the description below. So, um, so yeah, other than that... Uh, just uh, getting through the winter. You know, I know um, I talked about in one of my videos about having winter blues. and But I've been feeling better about it. Glenn's been coming out more, so it picks me up a little bit more. And I also try to just stay busy through the day. Um, I know when I stay busier, I don't think about it being a long winter. So, but remember, every day just means a day closer to spring. So hang in there, everybody. So with that, let's go to the TV and I will bring up the channel and show you the movies, okay? So I will end the video um, after I show you the movies. So that'll be my outro. All right, everyone. So here is the homepage for the Roku. And the channel I'm going to recommend, and it has ads,
but they have some good movies on there. It's called IMDB TV. So you can, it's a free channel. Uh, like I said, you can also get it on your tablet, uh, your iPad, your Android phone or your iPhone. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the channel. And so I'm just going to click down. Okay, so right away, oh, they're ch changing it. Okay, so I'm just going to click down. And they'll have like old TV shows, popular movies. So right now they've got like Tombstone. Um, I'm just going to click over. One movie that I have not watched, it's not on my list to recommend because I haven't watched it, but I I would like to watch it. It's called We Bought a Zoo, and it's with Matt Damon. So, and it's, uh, the description just says, uh, widow, widower Matt Damon comes up with a unique plan to lift his family out of their collective funk by purchasing a ramshackle zoo. So, looks like an interesting movie. Um, so I might watch that, but onto the movies I'm going to recommend to you. Uh, this one right here is probably the biggest one I would recommend. Sorry for the shaking. It's called The Fault in Our Stars, and it's really a good movie. They just put it on this month, so if you want to give it a try, uh, I would recommend doing it sometime this month because it may not be there next month but the description is hazel and gus share a love that sweeps them on an unforgettable journey in this powerful film based uh john green's new york time bestseller it is a really good movie i really recommend the fault in our stars so yeah check that movie out so that's one of them that's more on the drama romance drama and another one would be wind river with jeremy renner and this is more on the uh comedy no not comedy i'm sorry uh thriller drama so wind river there and description on that it's a chilling murder mystery set in in the icy backwoods of a Native American reservation. So yeah, it's a it's a good movie. It's a good thriller movie. So if you're into that kind of thing, check out Wind River. And I believe uh the guy um Taylor Sheridan who made uh 1883 and Yellowstone also did this movie, Wind River. So if you like uh thriller dramas, definitely check out Wind River. All right, and then Another one I want to watch, haven't watched it, Blue Ridge. So I'll check that one out and let you know about it. But let me find the other movies. Oh, here's one of them. This is uh, Street Kings. If you're into uh, cop type movies, uh, more like dirty cop <laughs> action type movies. Uh, this uh, has Keanu Reeves and Forrest Whitaker. And it came out quite a few years ago, um, mid-2000s. But yeah, if you're into cop movies, that's definitely a good movie to watch, Street Kings. Okay, so here's the next movie. It's called Remember Me, and it's a drama. And uh, Robert Pattinson, he played in the Twilight Saga movies. And he comes in this movie, and the description is, in the summer of 2001, New York college student Tyler is still feeling lost from the tragedy that has strained his relationship with his father when he meets Allie. So, um, yeah, Glenn actually uh, brought me to this movie because I think he watched it one night, and then he told me about it, so I watched it. And the thing with this movie... Um, you have to watch it all the way to the end. So, good movie. Uh, definitely a recommendation for anybody who likes dramas. 
Okay, so this movie uh, is with Josh Brolin and Kate Winslet. And this movie is called Labor Day, came out in 2013, and it's a romance. So, again, I don't want to say too much of the movie, but definitely a romance movie, and it's worth watching. I saw it years ago, but I didn't remember what it, what it, how it happened. So I just watched it uh, last week, and yeah, definitely a good movie to watch. Again, that's uh, Labor Day. Okay, folks, so here is the last movie that I'll recommend on IMDb TV. Uh, it's called Wishman, and this is a drama, and this is based on the founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So if you're familiar or if you've heard of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, this movie is about the founder, so... Uh, we thought it was really good. It's been a while since we watched it, but definitely um, from remembering what what the movie was, it's very good. So uh, recommend that one. So that's six movies I recommend. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you like that I recommend movies or shows or whatnot, leave it down in the comments. If if not, you can do without it. Leave that down in the comments too. <laughs> so um so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close the video off here. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking that time out of your day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.